we're about five miles from the nearest town. We're far enough from the nearest road that we're off the electrical grid. We have to generate our own power to run the facility. And we have a lot of power demands here. We're, we're doing work in the shop, we're welding, we're doing office work, we're doing machine teardowns and builds. It's a fully functional Caterpillar facility. And on a normal day, you can hear the generators running at the same time that the sun is shining more than 320 days a year. When we started to look at the sunlight conditions, the renewable energy availability here at the Tucson Proving Grounds, it was an ideal location because the sunlight is strong. It is a warm climate, so the solar power technology that we're using, which is CAT branded, it really excels in this kind of a hot climate. We started looking at the financials paybacks. Uh, we, we began to look at integrating energy storage, including lithium ion and ultra capacitors, to bridge through those cloudy periods. And we can now achieve 33% fuel reduction with the, the PV system that we've installed here. And then as well, all of the CO2 emissions that are a product of burning that fuel. So our expectation is to save more than a thousand tons of CO2 emissions a year just at this facility. I would say a renewable microgrid, which is really what we're talking about here, is integrating in renewable energy, whether that be solar uh, or wind or, or whatever renewable energy source you might have, with our traditional generation, uh, along with potentially energy storage or other elements to provide a, a stable grid. Today though, when solar panels and all the costs associated with solar have come down like 90%, now it makes sense in even if with normal fuel prices, we can produce, the cost to produce solar energy is below what it cost us to produce diesel. So that's really what I think is going to happen is, is the broad deployment of microgrids, uh, helping electrify uh, the rural communities in the world, uh, as well as, as complementing the um, traditional hub and spoke or, or central generation that we have in a developed country. So reducing emissions, enabling customers to use local resources, those are both sustainable. Enabling customers to have sustainable businesses, so by providing that lower cost of electricity or providing electricity to those who've never had it before, certainly part of our sustainable development mission. I mean, this, this project is really in the sweet spot of where Caterpillar can provide sustainable solutions for our customers and dealers throughout the world. It's really an exciting time. We, we really feel like we're changing the world with microgrids. Mm -hmm.